Yo, what is going on part-timer Zach here in today's video We're gonna be talking about punishing gray raven We're gonna be going over the prologue and chapter one of the story and kind of giving a little bit of a different take here Than we normally do on the channel So I would appreciate it if you guys enjoy the content to consider giving it a like as that does help the algorithm And also lets me know that you guys enjoy this type of content So let's go ahead and jump into the punishing gray raven story The punishing virus has taken over earth and has forced humans off world to a place known as babylonia a space station that the remaining humans live we begin our story with a wounded Lucia laying on piles of broken, corrupted parts. With groups of corrupted still on their way and the other Grey Ravens yet to arrive, Lucia decides to buy time for us, the Commandant, to escape. Lucia then asks to shut off her pain reception so that she can fight without being held back. This is where we first learn about MIND and the importance of it. We also learn at a base level what the Commandant's role is on the team and that being linked to our Mind Beacon helps the Construct stay human and resist the punishing virus. Lucia then undergoes the process to shut off her pain reception. During that time, Corrupted start gathering and it's our job to protect Lucia while the process finishes. Right on time, Lucia then wakes up and takes on the group of Corrupted, but just when we thought we were alone, and we get a call from Grey Raven with a request to find cover. Liv then fires a high density blast from her Levi guns, destroying all the surrounded Corrupted, by ruining important parts of the weapon, making Liv unable to fight with the team. We are then able to meet up with the rest of the Grey Raven squad, Liv and Lee. We then learn that the mission is to recover City of 015 by exterminating the corrupted from the area allowing the engineering force to arrive and rebuild the city this sets off the first task of meeting the supply squads to resupply which leads to the quickest path being a route through a church nearby upon reaching the church lucia begins to experience deja vu which lee is able to explain as a potential remnant from one of the places she had been before that was stored in her mind otherwise known as mind at the entrance of the church we see a figure that the team thinks may be a friendly construct or maybe even an ally within seconds the team can sense high density punishing virus reactions coming from the figure lucia then has issues even looking at the figure stating that there are errors in my visual signals and my thoughts are being muddled the team is surprised by this comment as they can see the figure normally Liv then panics as lucia's mind stability is dropping at an alarming rate and not due to the punishing virus alpha the unknown construct is seemingly able to recognize lucia proceeding to utter the error, the fault must end here. Alpha then attacks Lucia and the two battle it out with Lucia unable to do much damage, if anything, to Alpha. After a couple of clashes, Alpha is able to disarm Lucia using her own blade to pen her against the wall, restraining her movements. Right before she's able to strike Lucia down, we, the Commandant, fire a bullet at Alpha, which is easily deflected. Now with the attention of Alpha, she quickly comes face to face with us. We swing our knife, but Alpha is quicker, piercing our arm in the same spot as she did with Lucia. Lucia is able to attack Alpha from behind, doing very little damage, but for a moment it makes Alpha stand back, eerily talking about Lucia learning the truth, and if she still wants to protect us and humans after she learns it. Alpha then seemingly loses all interest in the fight and conversation and vanishes without a trace. After Alpha vanishes, Liv temporarily reinforces damage part of Lucia for the time being. After talking about the fight, Team Raven moves to the meetup location. Upon the arrival, the team is met with Construct Remains and Wandering Corrupted. After the team wipes out the surrounding Corrupted, signals appear alerting the team to nearby Constructs that are seemingly in trouble and asking for help. Team Grey Raven quickly moved to help the Constructs and finish off the Corrupted in the area. After quickly taking out the Corrupted, Lucia again has issues with her arm, seeing that it is once again broken. The remaining Construct is found alive and able to describe the attack that happened. The supply team had been attacked by Corrupted and were forced to make a temporary location for communications as a last resort. Corrupted had taken the team by surprise as the Corrupted normally don't team up in such a way. This shocks the team as the Corrupted are only known to be able to follow the kill order of the Punishing Virus. We then learn about Nozzle and the Graffiti's effect on the Corrupted. Graffiti is pointed out nearby and led to the reason behind the corrupted organizing together graffiti is understood by the mechanoids but not so much if they have a human consciousness after explaining the situation the construct offers their arm before recalling allowing lucia to have a working arm again after lucia puts on her new arm her pain receptors are turned back on to help her with the mind model to go back to normal team raven learns of abandoned weapon supplies that have levi gun core components which would help fix liv's weapons team raven sets out to get the levi gun cores for liv lucia then gets a chance to check out her new arm against a group of corrupted during this time nozzle wakes up in a haze confused on where he is and what the world has become seen before him a machine's travel notes causing nozzle to feel freedom happiness and a sense of free will only then vaguely remembering being enslaved by humans and the punishing virus this saddens Nozzle as the realization sets in that other machines are still trapped. This inspires Nozzle to paint the will of Sage Machina into his work acting as a patch for other machines to learn this sort of free will. Nozzle is then able to start gathering corrupted to help spread the work of Sage Machina. Finally arriving at the location for the Levi gun cores, the team is met with an eerie sight of blown up pieces and paint all over dead constructs. Nozzle can be seen hiding in the shadows, watching the team discuss what he considers his artwork with the concern of the team Raven ruining his work. After overhearing Lee saying that the graffiti is made with the construct fluid and being disgusted with this type of work, 
the figure in the shadows grows angry at the raven team the team then fight a wave of corrupted and get the parts back for liv's gun now with liv being able to fight once again lucia and liv fight the remaining corrupted in the area with the raven squad at full power they can resume their mission to clear out the city 015 liv offers to connect to the dead mines in hope of finding clues towards the whereabouts of the machine that is creating this graffiti art the commandant agrees to let liv do her thing while liv and lucia protect liv as her functions will be shut down during this process making her unable to defend herself Liv then begins to access these memories allowing the team to see what really happened before the attack the team learned once again that the graffiti is having a special effect on the corrupted and allowing them to think with some sort of free will they can see the corrupted then attack the supply team claiming free will and freedom to the machines with nozzle close by nozzle thinks that humans are against his work and are too stupid to understand the beauty of his true work nozzle then gets really angry and violent due to the humans destroying his work as the supply team start cleaning the graffiti in front of them for safe passage the raven team are then met by nozzle as he comes out of the shadows to greet him nozzle then talks about his plan to get rid of humans to keep his work alive quickly after that a chase begins as the team follows nozzle while fighting the corrupted that are protecting him at which point he barely gets away but then given the rundown of what nozzle was in intended to be used for and what machines of his type are for. Nozzle being made for art and entertainment starts to unravel why Nozzle is doing the things that he's doing. The team then set out to find Nozzle before he does more damage. During this time, Nozzle stumbles across an ongoing fight between humans and Tifa. The constructs fighting Tifa are able to escape running past Nozzle. Tifa asks Nozzle why he let them escape, to which Nozzle replies that they were simply running away and not ruining his work. Tifa requests that Nozzle join her and to become an ascendant like her. Nozzle refused as his mission is to pass on the Sage Makuta. Tifa then attacks Nozzle, sending Corrupted controlled by her to fight as well. Nozzle defends himself while he can, but quickly tires out. Right before the Corrupted finish off Nozzle, his followers come to his aid to help him escape allowing him to get away just in time and being able to connect to the station in babylonia team raven is able to update the current mission and get possible whereabouts on nozzle we also learn here that lucia has never been to a shop before the commandant allows Liv and lucia to have a quick look around at this time lucia finds two plushies one that looks like a lipstick frog and another one that looks like a sheep the girls decided to keep one for each of them lucia oddly fascinated by the frog the frog sends lucia into a blank look as she stares at the plushie explaining that it gives her a strange feeling that she can't yet describe shortly after the team leaves the shop in search of nozzle team raven finally catches up with nozzle after breaching the front lines the team then prepared to take on nozzle and the rest of the surrounding corrupted team raven is finally able to corner nozzle and be able to learn a little bit more about his mission he mumbles a little bit about ascendance and sage machina being the reason behind his new free will nozzle then explains that humans are no longer in control and that corrupt will spread the word of sage makata after this the team fight nozzle ultimately ending in his defeat Liv can't help but feel sad after the defeat of nozzle lee dismisses the idea and the team look for clues in the memories of nozzle the team then reach out to command to learn that the mission has been stopped and the team is to return to babylonia at once by the orders of hassan we then meet with hassan once back in babylonia we learn that team raven is a special team and that we need to build a strong bond between all of us before we can learn more about the team ultimately concluding chapter one